we're here with Liz Christine of Leaves Dies. Um, starting off, how are you in the band and did you have a good Christmas break? Did we have a Christmas break? Um, did, yeah, did you have a good Did we have a Christmas break? Yes, we had, we had, a, we spent a couple of days in Austria. Uh, fortunately we didn't have the snow, so no skiing, but uh, at least we had a week off. Uh, that was good because um, 2013 was very, very busy, lots of touring and the release of Symphonies of the Night. Um, yes, just too much going on actually, but in a, in a, in a positive way. So, um, now we're back on the road again. Uh, and we're absolutely uh, overwhelmed by the reaction. And, uh, a number of people coming to our shows. Uh, it's so nice to see that every time we return to the UK, more and more people come to our shows. So I'm very grateful for that. This was such a great kickoff for the new year. <laughs> yeah, we're glad to have you here. Um, how's the tour been so far? I've seen a lot of sightseeing photos. On Yes, in between, you know, be, it's always uh, between the the, uh, the loading and the, the sound check. Um, I do have an hour or a half just to go and go and see where I am, and, and uh, uh, which is uh, which is good because it's sometimes good to get away from from everything mm. and calm down a little bit and, uh, and you know gather other impressions. Mm. Um, what I did yesterday was to, <laughs> I went by cab, to find Ozzy Osbourne's birthplace uh, outside Birmingham and I found it. Um, um, so, but I realised uh, after I found it, uh, it's actually in a very bad neighbourhood. Mm. <laughs> so yeah. I ran away, took a couple of photos, ran away and then jumped on the, on the first bus. <laughs> But that was a, yeah, um, quite interesting trip yesterday. So um, it's always good to, uh, that, that's the, actually one of the best things about touring is that you get around to, to see things and see places and meet people. That's and really where did you go today? Are you going today? Or was it today, uh, <laughs> I went uh, to see Big Ben because my son requested a photo of Big Ben and myself. He wants to build it uh, Lego, <laughs> so he needs a good picture of it. And I did, uh, which I did. I was, went to see um, a couple of churches and cathedrals, uh, nice buildings. Uh, Yes, we've been around. We've been quite oh, busy today. Uh, Lovely weather. It it's sounds like yeah, it has been quite nice today. Yeah, a bit cold, but nice. It's been very nice, nice yeah. Um, for those of people that don't know Leaves Eyes, um, can you give a brief history of the band? Um, Leaves Eyes was founded uh, by my, uh, my husband and myself um, ten years ago. Ten and a half years ago. We had ten years anniversary last year. It happened after I'd been uh, kicked out of my former uh, theatre of tragedy, uh, and uh, I was at the back then in 2003. I was at the point I'd reached a point where I was really considering: Do I want to continue uh, with music or not? Because music business and all that had been kicked out of a band which I formed. <laughs> um, Yes, it, it wasn't very, it wasn't that easy and I was, I was very disappointed about the whole thing, so I was thinking about just leaving it all, sing in the shower. And then Alex said, uh, you know, if, if you need, uh, if you need us, if basically atrocity, if you need any good musicians, feel free to ask, which I did, two days later. So uh, in spring 2003 we fought Keep Size, and with the... Uh, We've released a couple of albums and EPs, and uh, we've been all over the world. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yes, things are going really well, and it feels, it feels very comfortable to stand where I'm standing right now with my band after 10 years and 20 years, and even more experience, uh, live experience and studio experience. So, it feels great. Um, how would you describe your music to someone that doesn't know Leaves Eyes or just sort of wrap it up in a nutshell? Kind of That's the most difficult question you could ask me. <laughs> um, it's always difficult to describe your own 
artistic work. Um, every album, uh, every Leaves album, Ice album is different, uh, but still it's a, it's a, it's hardcore Leaves Ice. It's different. There are always we always <coughs> when we begin a production and a composing process, I basically tell everybody to feel free to let in any influence they like to let in to, to the music. So uh, we are a very creative band. And um, Symphonies of the Night, the latest album, is uh, it's, it's dark, it's heavy. Also, you guys and it's uh, it's multi -layered. You guys and made it's inspired off, by classical music, music. Did you guys feel uh, that and my lyrics are inspired by female yeah. characters and heroes in, in literature and, and history. Yeah. Um, so, talking about the current metal scene and in particular how this ch scene has changed, women, how do you feel that it's progressed or do you think it's sort of stagnated a little bit? Metal scene for, for women. women. Yeah. There are more women around now than uh, than 18 years ago when uh, I formed the Theatre of Tragedy. Back then, uh, it was always the only female road. Whereas nowadays, uh, uh, we normally tour with uh, another band, with uh, one or two girls. And so, changed. Has it changed? Not really, but the acceptance of having uh, female vocals in metal, doom metal, and dark metal, uh, has grown bigger, quite, uh, which is very good. I remember the first, um, first time in the Theatre of Tragedy, uh, after we released our first album, <coughs> the press the press uh, was mainly a bit surprised <laughs> about what we were doing, angelic voices in doom metal, which was later called gothic metal. Um, for us, the audience was very happy to, uh, to get new inspiration. So, uh, and after that, after we'd been voted to be the band of the year and stuff like that, the press started talking about us in a positive way. So, um, by and by, um, acceptance has grown, which is, which is very good. Yeah. Um, how does having Alex on tour, um, does it bring, what benefits does it bring and Maybe does it sort of hinder things a little bit? You know, like obviously you're quite close to each other, so maybe you can say something in the studio. You know, like go, well, I didn't like that kind of thing. So, um, I'd say we, we're a very, very good team. Um, we we complement each other in in any way in private life and when it comes to music business, which is um, very special actually. Uh, the only negative thing about both of us being on the road is that we need somebody to, to look after a son at home. So, but for, for the upcoming US tour and 70,000 tons of metal, uh, we'll be travelling with a whole family, so, which we would normally do. Um, just feels better to have <laughs> to have a son on the road, and he's used to. He's been travelling with us since he was two, two, two and a half. So um, yeah, when I do solo tours and win atrocity tour, one of us would stay at home, um, and that's uh, that's a good thing too. I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Um, can you describe uh, how you built up Symphonies of the Night um, from say, the concepts of the album through to write and record in it? Um, as I already mentioned, I, I, I just told my band members, okay, we have a 10 years anniversary, so um, just feel free to go with a creative flow. Uh, that was our starting point. So we were quite surprised to see where this whole process took us in the end. Um, very happy about this album uh, because it's all on the, um, all the good things about Leaves Eyes are on this album. So I uh, feel very comfortable with this and um, 
basically everybody did what he, want, he or she wanted to do. And it's always uh, for all of us, um, the music itself, which inspires us to, to take further steps and progress. Especially when it comes to myself and writing lyrics and vocal lines. It's always the music which tells me what to do. Um, do you prefer perform performing live or do you more flourish in recording in the studio? Live. Prefer it live? Definitely, yeah. Okay, studio is, yeah, like, you can fix everything. Mm. Um, yeah, I just feel like if you have an audience in front of you, if I have an audience in front of me, I have even more power, I have even more to give. And there is so much coming back in return. Good, good experience, good energy. Um, so um, live is always so uh, the greatest thing for me. Okay. Um, looking at the band's history and the concepts and themes that we've done over the years, um, it seems like very mythological, very historical ways. Um, is that a passion of yours? And does it allow you to develop more of your interest then? Almost in a way become like a history yeah. lesson for someone watching yeah. watching the videos especially. Yes, yes, I've always been interested in history and um, um, I studied English and German in uh, Norwegian and at a German university and uh, so I've got so many books in my basement. <laughs> so. Uh, but it's, as I already mentioned, it's the music which inspires me to write about. So if an album has a more folky sound, I would rather go to the uh, Nordic, Nordic mythology mm -hmm. direction or maybe Celtic. Um, so um, for Symphonies of the Night, the, the, folk, it's, uh, the folk inspiration, the folk, the special folk instruments are still there, but the, the classical part is just the strong. So mm. it's, a, it's a nice contrast in the music. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you've done a lot of collaborations in the past. Is there any one person just from any sort of part of history of music that you can just go, yes, if I could collaborate with that person? I'd love to do it. Ozzy Osbourne. With Ozzy. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And on the female side, be Kate Bush. Okay. Yeah. Um, what does the rest of 2014 hold for Leaves Eyes? Well, after, after the night show, we'll um, uh, stay the night in, in London, fly back to Germany tomorrow, uh, do some laundry, and uh, after two days at home, we'll be flying uh, off to the States. Um, the tour will uh, begin in Puerto Rico, and then we do 70,000 tons of metal in mm -hmm. USA and Canada with World Spell. After that, it's almost festival season, mm -hmm. so we'll do, we'll do a, a small European tour and a couple of single gigs, like one is in, in Kiev. Um, we'll try to, um, to set up as many festivals, uh, festival gigs as possible and probably uh, a world tour or two, or two later this year. So. But um, we will definitely return to the UK within a year. So, yes. um, just a little question away from music. Is it what about the British culture do you like? Maybe if you have a favourite TV programme or the food or just anything that you enjoy about coming here? Oh, that metal, heavy metal was founded in this country, yes, so that's, uh, that's something uh, I think is just great. I was, I was actually looking for a heavy metal museum in Birmingham, I mean, yesterday I couldn't find any, should be proud of that. <laughs> it was, uh, Black Sabbath was the first music I heard I was exposed to when I was very, very little, so you can be proud of that. And you do have great food, actually. Um, I'm vegan, my husband's vegetarian, and we have a couple of other vegetarians in the band, and um, we know that in the UK we definitely won't be hungry, so, yeah, um, and of course the audience, we have an amazing audience, many, many fans and friends of the band, and um, people who follow us uh, across the UK when, when we tour the UK, I'm very grateful for that. Um, yeah, we opened up a few questions for Facebook followers. Um, one of them is from a girl called Sammy Jarrell. Said, um, if you could have four superpowers, what would they be and why? 
Four superpowers. Four superpowers. Four superpowers. Four. Four superpowers. I mean, um, wow, that's your job. I'm good at sports. I'm good at cooking. I'm and good. Um, in that life, you both have a life. Four superpowers. I haven't got. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, sometimes I'd like to read people's minds. Sometimes I'd like to turn back time. Uh, I'd like to. Uh, I would like to be able to climb mountains. Uh, and I would like to be able to, to, to dive into the deepest ocean. Um, yes, that was four, yeah. yeah that's Easier four. than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and finally, from Emma Halton, uh, where do you get your stage outfits from? Um, I mainly do free them myself. So okay. I pick up bits and pieces from places. Uh, I've picked up many of my corsets, for example, here in London. Uh, so, yes, it's, it's, it's my own, it's your own creation. Yeah, creation. I've had a couple of dresses um, um, made by um, uh, designers, but it's mainly I, I, I have a, and I have a special vision of, uh, of my stage dress. I'm um, trying to go out there and collect bits and pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, thanks so much. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.